impact on laptop repair. This is Alex of Alex Custom Tech and today we're gonna be working on a laptop. Okay, this laptop is um, a HP Let's see. Uh, let's see. HP G six two dash thirty four O US notebook. Right. It's not for a customer, so it calls it so it calls a G six uh no um HP G62. It's not for a customer. It's, I bought this my wife several years ago. And uh, it's, it's not working. So, you know the old adage about a gardener never does his garden or a, um, a plumber has bad pipes. I think it's kind of something with this. Wife broke the computer. I mean, wife computer broke and um, both fix it. But I'm going around. But so, based on my, I think I did a big one this already so many months ago. Based on my um, evaluation, I think I came up with a need number. I needed a lot. I needed a um, screen and keyboard and maybe a CPU. That's my initial evaluation. But might be more than that. Really might be more or less than that. It makes sense. What problem with the laptop is it comes on and then it shuts off and sometimes you can't turn it on at all. So based on that it's more likely to board. It's pretty old and you know dust and stuff is in it and God knows what so it needs a board. I'll go with a board, a keyboard and I mean you need a motherboard keyboard and uh, battery. So those are the things that I think it definitely needs to get it back up and running. And wife needs it. Why? Pretty bad. I didn't fix it yet. But I mean, she has all alternatives. But nothing like having your own laptop, right? So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna open it up to. It's gonna be it's gonna be several parts in this video. So we're gonna open it up to make sure that we order the right board for this laptop. And that's pretty much what the delay was. For me to take the time to open up the laptop, check the board, get the, 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 the model number and the part, make sure that we're looking at when I go order it. Exact same board. That's why I haven't really done it yet. So we're gonna do that today, and we're gonna open it up and put the board up. So if you have one like this, you'll see how to open it. Pretty much just a bit. So without further ado, let's go. Here we go. We're live. We're gonna be opening up this bad boy. Okay, so I know the camera is gonna give you a good view of it. Kind of have it mounted, mounted here on my desk. So let's get to work. So one of the first things I normally do when I'm got the battery. We 
we need to replace this to put this to the side. This has to get replaced. This is not a battery is not good. So remember, we're gonna to try to get this computer perfect because well, it's my wife. She deserves that. So and I'm gonna get um, several screws here. Gonna get three here. Get two here, and I think more likely the the cards, memory cards, are somewhere in here. So we're gonna take that on. If I had screws here, interesting. Missing something here. Got screws here, and and this little this little Phillips screwdriver is perfect for the job. So um, I have that, and I have my screw thing here. I put my screws so I don't lose them. And sometimes it's good if you don't know. Like what I'll do, I'll take a picture of how things are laid out so that I can put it back together when everything is said and done so uh, let's go let's uh, open up a laptop What I was trying to do just now, I was trying to take the screw out, but it does appear like it doesn't come out. Like it's staying on the, 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 the cover. Sometimes that happens, so we have to go a little deeper to see. That's the case, because it won't come off of it at all. So, I'm not gonna really. And I was right, see? There's a little metal thing here that holds the screws in place. So you don't, with laptops, you don't need to force, push, you know, do anything like that. It'll. I'm not talking about a tiny, but just work. Same thing with this one.
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Show you these are frozen. So now we're going to take out this piece right here. This is the hard drive. A couple of screws in here. But they're all Phillips so far, so we're gonna just screw here. Here. So here's our drive. The thing with pulling up laptops, you kind of want to get something that has some magnetic magnetic feature to it. The screwdriver, because sometimes the screws are really in there. You gotta like take them up. So this is magnetic. Not a lot, but just a little bit, which is good. Sometimes it's in there, you want to like, it's in the title of the spot, you want to get it out. Okay? So, here we have the R drive. Now, this is a SATA 2.5. Right? So, if you're messing around with this laptop and this, you don't have to take off the connectors. Is another piece right here that goes right into the board. Right down here. It comes right up. And what's cool about this, it has a little thing that just tab this to pull it right up. So it's no force. With the boards, it's very delicate. So you kind of want to take your time when you're pulling things. You don't apply too much force to stuff because if it doesn't want to come up, I wouldn't recommend that you force it to come up. It's supposed to easily come up with as little force as possible. So that's the key to opening laptops. So it's kind of like an operation. So I'm going to try to take up, take off. I'm going to try to take off this piece right here. Right here. More likely the memory card is under here and the uh, Wi-Fi. But it's giving me a little bit of problems coming up so I use these guitar picks. So good to get on the meat and try to pick it up with these. So let's see if we you can progress here. Not coming up. You notice how I try to do it, but I don't force it too much. So when I get to a part that's just not moving, that's it, I don't. That's it, so I gotta keep I gotta keep going. Here's where it gets tricky. Now we gotta lift, remove here. From the base, use one of these bad boys to kind of get in between. Pull it, a lot of little, little clips here. Try to get it on it. Lift it off a little bit. No, remember, no force. All right. Right up. Now, you can't rip it all the way because they're still, still connected. So, like the board and stuff. Like the like keyboard and stuff. So, we don't force it all the way up, but we just kind of gently pry it. You see, it, it comes up though without a lot any forcing. And we got a little problem right here. So we don't want to force that up, round it a little bit. See if we can. Here we go, right up. 
so we know that. Okay. There we go. But there's still some things here that's not cooperating, right? Take off the this piece right here. More likely we're gonna see more screws. Piece right here, the black piece right here. This is this. Take that up. Okay. We are back. Now we got this off. This was in the back of it. This is covering up the memory card and the Wi-Fi like I told you. But uh, it is important because underneath it is another screw for the board for the keyboard. So we had to really get that off. So now we're gonna take out the these things right here. You can see them. These right here are known as memory cards. We're gonna take these out. Use a flathead for one side. Just hold it. The other side. And it comes right out like that. See? Hold it on the edges. And you put it. You kind of put these. You know, I put I have a little case right things right here. I open up and I when I work on my laptops and stuff like that. I have everything away from me, so I don't have to. It's gonna come right up. Put this side. Now this right here. That's the Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna take this up. Use your hands. Just a little clip. Just pull the black one off. Pull the white one off. It's one, two. Um, sometimes they're marked, but if you have, if you doubt it, you know, just take a picture. I'm always for taking pictures so you don't make any mistakes. Camera out. If you're not sure how it's supposed to be set up, take a picture of it so you remember how to put it back. And this just gets screws off. So it's going to do that now, and then we're going to rip it up. Open it up. Now, what I'm holding in my hand here is the board. Because we unscrewed the back, all the screws that hold the board, the keyboard in place, is now released so get the board but you notice I'm not pulling it all the way up because behind it is how the board is connected to the so the keyboard is connected to the motherboard a lot of board arguments board statements so now we have to disconnect it it's not hard there is normally this see it there's something you can use to pull to take it out so that's what I normally would do. So just, just pick it up, so the blue film like, and just take it out like that. And voila, your board is out. Now this board is junk. This is uh, this is junk. You can tell there's missing things on here. So we we're gonna replace the board. So this is out. Put it to the side. That's gonna go in the garbage. Now there's some other things down here that's connected. I'm gonna take these out too. All right. These two pieces down here. I'm gonna take them out also. Simple. Put them out. There you go. Anything you see connected, just disconnect. That's for the fun, more likely. Here's another piece. I'm gonna 
take that out too. I thought it was just AMD. That was Intel. Ooh. That was hard. I like that at all. Sometimes it comes up. But, uh, so now we can remove the top. Should be able to remove the top. No, we can't. It's a screw. If we always gently see if there's a resistance and look again and see what's stopping it from just coming right up. There's no force required. So there's a little screw right here. Do that. Put that away. She comes right up. Voila, look at that. There you go. You can look and see what the things were. This little thing that was just this right here, that was for the power power button and you can tell by these little the, these little things down here that we just pulled off they were for the mouse and and and, and, and tracking ball or pad pad so that's what we just disconnected all right and put that to the side and we're looking at the motherboard engine of a computer this is what's bad so we're gonna take this out order a new one and replace it that's how we're gonna do okay if you want to know what, what we're looking at right here this is your optical drive so you put your CD your DVD in this is your fan keeps the computer cool underneath this piece right here is a CPU pretty sure the CPU is fine the fan is a little bit dusty so we're gonna have to clean this out we don't want to put a new board in and have it not cool or the CPU not get cooled might have the same problem too quickly so we're gonna clean it up a little bit to make sure that when we put the new board in we're good to go all right I'm gonna end the video here since we got that part out and in the next one I'll show you we're gonna have a new board we're gonna replace we're gonna take this one out and put a new board in. as I always say stay productive